Dr. Kale, faculty, staff, trustees, teachers, friends, family, and most important, graduates, receiving your international diploma in humanitarian assistance. Thank you for inviting me to be with you this morning. <clears throat> Since receiving this surprising and touching invitation from Dr. Cahill, I've been pondering a big question. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I'll guess that in your work, some of you may have asked yourselves that same question. But let's talk about me first, because I'm a well-known actor, and that's what we do. I'll talk to you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll talk about you later. <laughs> It won't be, much, won't be much later, I was asked to be brief. I assume for humanitarian reasons. <laughs> I've known Dr. Cahill for 30 or maybe 40 years, depending on whose faulty memory you believe. <laughs> Neither one of us can remember when we first met. Dr. Cahill thought it was 30 years ago when I was doing a picture called The Mission with Liam Neeson and Aidan Quinn. I mention their names for two reasons. First, Dr. Cah uh, Dr. Cahill is a world-class name dropper, and I think he would want me to. <laughs> and second, it's possible <coughs> I only came on his radar when I was in the company of two famous Irishmen. <laughs> anyway, we were shooting in Colombia, Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay, homes to some of Dr. Cahill's favorite tropical infectious diseases. <laughs> and according to Dr. Cahill, we all came down with something awful, and he cured us. In my memory, I'd, al I'd already been his patient for several years, and he gave me some malaria pills. But maybe we both got it wrong. Maybe I was seeing a different doctor, and maybe he was treating, say, uh, Al Pacino. <laughs> he probably was seeing Al Pacino. He sees everybody from every level of society. Those people seek him out for his skill, his intelligence. If Dr. Cahill drops names, it's because the owners of those names embrace him. I remember him telling me that he treated the, both the Pope and Frank Sinatra. Or maybe what I remember is the Pope and Frank Sinatra dropping Dr. Cahill's name. <laughs> I'm only a quarter Irish, the good quarter, as I'm sure Dr. Cahill would say. That leads me to conclude that the reason I'm here is because Sinead O'Connor was unavailable. <laughs> Dr. Cahill is steeped in his Irishness and to excellent effect. He is a man of great culture and enormous warmth. He's an irresistible companion, a charming and relentless storyteller, a virtuoso doctor, and a true humanitarian. There's an Irish proverb that goes, may the roof above us never fall in, and may the friends gathered below it never fall out. Every day for most of his life, Dr. Cahill has served those on, of whom, on whom the roof has fallen in. Like many of you, he had an instinct for finding himself in places where the need was greatest. He treated mankind one patient at a time. I'm sure this gave him great satisfaction, but his restless mind and his generous soul pushed him to find a way to help more people. He recognized that there was a great international will to practice humane care, but the ability to efficiently and smartly help lagged far behind. This thinking crystallized for him one day 20 odd years ago while discussing the dilemma with the US Secretary of State Cyrus Vance and UK Foreign S Secretary David Owen. Vance said the problem is NGOs who don't know what they're doing. That was the seed that flowered into this program now 20 years young and today reaching the milestone of its 50th graduating class. Still, we wouldn't be here today but for two strokes, uh, two strokes of genius from Dr. Cahill, enlisting Larry Hollingworth and Brendan Cahill. Gentlemen, please stand so that we can thank you. <laughs> and by the way, Brendan didn't get, didn't get the job because he's Dr. Cahill's son. He, he got it because he's Irish. <laughs> The other factor that helped sustain this work is the interest and support of Fordham University. This campus and the international reach of Fordham affirms the program's educational value and prestige. Warning, as I begin to talk about the world you are returning to, I may get a little agitated. I'm that angry about it, but don't worry. 
If I get too excited, Dr. Kale is standing by to give me an injection of something to calm me down. Okay? Like millions of us, I have been greatly upset by the lack of humanity I see around, all around. I don't know if it's growing, but it certainly has been emboldened. It's affecting all of us. It's affecting you, and it will affect your work. The U.S. government is proposing to slash foreign aid that for millions of people around the world is the difference between hope and despair. You know these people. You are helping them. This week, Trump and his gang have been working on proposals to take health care away from tens of millions of people and use the savings to enrich the already rich. America is creating a class of refugees in our own country. In too many countries, people are being demonized because of their beliefs, their culture, their countries of origin. In this one, we elected a leader who's racist, who is a racist, ignorant bully. Where is the humanity? <coughs> what, what's to become of us? That's where you come in. I think my optimistic friend, the healer, Dr. Kevin Hay Cahill, believes that there's some humanitarian in all of us and I hope he's right. I do see that you have found your own inner humanitarian and you've let it guide you to, make our, to making our world better. You serve with compassion and dignity while you make sacrifices and take heroic risks. Now you've gone through this program so you can perform your work even more effectively. You have distinguished yourselves here and you will take those lessons with you for the rest of your lives. Like, <coughs> like your mentor, Dr. Cahill, you are true humanitarians you are shining examples of what can be achieved when we find the humanitarian hidden inside. By inspiring others, you increase your impact exponentially. I've been told that you're not heroes, but that you are wonderful people doing heroic work. Maybe, maybe, but. Hasim, Ibrahim Asori, Carrie Ann, Radhika, James, Rosanna, Adam, Judith, Fred, Pauline, Frida, Nada, Lola, Rosemary, Anya, Alberto, Yasser, James, Vicky, Catherine, Sonia, Edwin, Mariam, Bart, Arcelia, Ante, Martina, Naomi, you are my heroes. Congratulations and God bless. <laughs>